Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Sweden has pledged to join the Czech Republic's initiative to purchase artillery ammunition for Ukraine from third countries, allocating 30 million euros for this purpose. This declaration was made public by the Swedish Embassy in the Czech Republic, underscoring Sweden's commitment to supporting Ukraine amid the ongoing conflict with Russia. This announcement comes as part of Sweden's broader aid package to Ukraine, totaling 7.1 billion Swedish kroner, approximately $683 million, marking the 15th and most substantial aid package yet. In addition to this financial support, Sweden has decided to participate in the Czech initiative, recognizing the urgent need for artillery ammunition in Ukraine. The Czech initiative, spearheaded by President Petr Pavel, aims to procure 800,000 artillery shells of various calibers, 500,000 shells of 155mm and 300,000 shells of 122mm, from non-EU countries. Several nations, including the Netherlands and France, have already pledged their support for this initiative, emphasizing the critical importance of providing Ukraine with the necessary ammunition to defend itself against Russian aggression. The Russo-Ukrainian war has escalated into a significant artillery conflict, highlighting the essential role of ammunition in the ongoing hostilities. Ukraine's consumption of artillery shells has been substantial, with estimates suggesting thousands of shells fired daily by both Ukrainian and Russian forces. The EU's Joint Ammunition Purchase Project aims to address the urgent need for increased ammunition supply to Ukraine, recognizing the country's limited production capacity and the intensity of the conflict. The situation underscores the vital importance of international support in bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities and ensuring its ability to withstand Russian aggression. By participating in initiatives like the Czech-led effort to procure artillery ammunition, Sweden and other nations demonstrate solidarity with Ukraine and a commitment to upholding security and stability in the region. That's all for now. See you later.